Hey guys, uh, I want to talk to you guys about the packet for our project on Nazi Germany. So I have right here, it is not truth that matters, but victory. A famous quote by Adolf Hitler, by the way. Here's a picture of the Nazis holding people back. And it looks like the people are all in a good mood and very happy to be Nazis, which of course is Nazi propaganda because they want you to think they're happy to be Nazis. Let's move down to the presentation. In this project, you by yourself or with a partner, you are going to give a digital presentation to the class in which you are going to be talking and showing your information and some pictures you've picked. Here is the rubric in which you are going to be graded. This is a fifth grade level. This is a sixth grade level. This is the seventh grade level where you should be. And this is the eighth grade level in order to get a five. Regular eye contact, poised body language, and being able to use a variation volume to inflect and show emphasize key points. Influence. The influence. The influence is going to be what effect your event had on Germany. Okay? So you're going to be talking about, in the big picture, in your own words, the kind of impact that your person, event, or thing had on Germany as a whole, or even the war, fifth grade level, sixth grade level, seventh grade level, and eighth grade level. I can explain how the influence differs, including to limitations or biases of the topic. I'll talk more about that in a second. Presentation page. This is what you're going to be putting on note cards and talking to us about. So you're going to be up in front of the class, and you're going to say, hi, my name is Kurt Morse. The topic I picked is the Beer Hall Putsch, which has to do with Hitler's chance to take over Germany for the first time. And then please have your note cards ready. And be prepared to say this. My thesis is, and then read your thesis to the audience, your thesis paragraph. Explain your three subclaims. And then read the conclusion. This is all in note cards. Read the conclusion to the Satomer you've written and turned into me. And then here I want you to tell us the influence and why you thought the influence was important to either Germany or World War II from your person, your event, or your thing. Your presentation must at least be three minutes. If you have a partner, it must be at least five minutes. More is fine. It just has to at least be three by yourself and at least five minutes with a partner or partners. But of course, more is fine. This is the project now, the digital piece. You're going to have a title slide, and the title slide is going to have your project title, okay, and a picture that describes the title. I'll show you an example of this. The thesis slide will have the thesis and pictures that go with it. Yeah. You're going to have three subclaim slides that have your subclaims, your information, and pictures on it. And finally, your conclusion slide so that we can see it and see your pictures. And you're going to tell us why you chose those pictures. And then each one of you is going to have your own additional influence slide as to why you think your topic influenced Germany or the war. Let me give you an example. Here's one I made. So pretend, and I'm using a whole different topic, so please don't think this has to do with World War II. But this is what you're going to be doing. Hi, my name is Kurt Morris, and my topic was China. I chose this picture because it has a map of China. This shows the Great Wall, which is one of its most important artifacts in China. And finally, I picked this picture right here because this is the Yangtze River, which is the pipeline for how goods get in and out of inner China. This is my thesis statement, folks. The land of China is very diverse, and the people of China interact with their land in many ways. Now, the reason why I chose these pictures are, my first subclaim is, the Chinese live in many places all over China but the majority of the population live on the eastern coast. And then I'm going to explain why I picked these pictures. And then, this is where the audience gets to say, okay, Kurt, why do people live on the eastern coast? And I need to explain it. People live all over China. Like, give me some areas where they live. Be ready to answer it. Hi, guys. My second subclaim says this. Part of the geography of China has been manipulated into a dam in the middle of the country. 
The reason why I picked this picture is it shows the dam, and here it shows the hydraulic ability of the water going in and out of this dam. Any questions? Uh, yeah, Kurt, why do they put a dam right there? Well, that's a great question. Now, remember, I've written a paper on this, so I know what the evidence is. Then, of course, the third subclaim in pictures. Here's the conclusion, which I don't need to read because I've already had it, already talked about it in class, already read it in my uh, presentation earlier. But I am going to read this. Here's my influence. This came from my own words. You see, folks, not long ago, China was viewed primarily as a regional actor with a predominant focus on the events in, in, in its near and abroad. I better know what that means. And as the span of a few, in a span of a few short decades, China has established itself as a global actor. You better explain what that means, Kurt. I will. So that is my example. Okay. So you and your teammates, or by yourself, you will do that. You'll have this stuff up here on your note cards. You're going to pick your topic by the 27th. You're going to finalize your questions by the 28th. All your notes are to be done on your Cornell note sheet and turned in by uh, November 1st. Your paper is due November 3rd. And finally, everything is due on the 10th because you can start presenting on the 10th. Now, as far as topics, you can pick anything you want that has to do with what we've talked about in class or even in the book club book that you have. So that could be any book club right here. Anything you want for your book club as well work. But I'll put some things on here just in case you're wondering. Adolf Hitler, Franz Ferdinand, Anne Frank, Lusitania, Versailles, Kristallnacht. These are events. These are people. Things, German tanks, Mein Kampf, German weapons, anything you're going to pick. You can pick any. It doesn't have to be here either. It can be something else. Just giving you ideas. And then down here, I have ideas for you if you don't know what to pick for, for questions. So if you're doing people, just attach this to a person. Let's say Franz Ferdinand. Okay, Franz Ferdinand. What did Franz Ferdinand do? Why did Franz Ferdinand do what he did? How did Franz Ferdinand influence what would later become Nazi Germany? Okay, so you're going to have to talk about that in your paper. Or partner one would, partner two would take that, and partner three would take this. Let's say you're doing an event. Let's say you pick the Treaty of Versailles as your topic. Well, if you want help with questions, you can borrow these. What was the Treaty of Versailles? Why did the Treaty of Versailles happen? And how did the Treaty of Versailles influence Nazi Germany? Partner one, partner two, partner three can do those. Or if you're by yourself, you do all three yourself. Okay? And then same thing down here for things. So that is what you're doing. Then after you pick what you want to do, you're going to go here, which is to the online sign-up. And under period one, or period two, or period three, you're going to write down, I picked the beer hall putsch, which I don't have up there. Beer hall putsch. I'm going to write down the questions. I just borrowed from here, guys. I'm just like, yeah, I'll do event. What was the beer hall putsch? Why did the beer hall putsch happen? And how did the, how did the beer hall putsch influence Nazi Germany? Those will be my questions. I'll make it simple. And then here, I have to write my essential question. What do all three of these things have in common? Well, they're all reasons for the beer hall putsch. And that is what I'm going to put together as my essential overarching question. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll help you out. Thanks.